Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to A Young Fire. My name is Dumi WMJ and if you are seeing my face for the first time, this is A Young Fire, a channel for young people who are on fire for God, people who are passionate about purpose as well as enthusiastic about life and the future. If you believe you're one of those people, do ensure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you never get to miss out on a video that we post on this channel. Yo, I haven't done that in such a long time, so <laughs> I'm a bit rusty, but yo, guys, this is going to be your favorite YouTube channel for 2021. I'm speaking into the atmosphere and I'm going to make sure that that happens because I'm going to put in the effort, the commitment, the consistency and everything that's required basically just to make sure that it is because this is one of the things that I know are part of my purpose and they make up the things that I'm meant to be doing in life. So I'm really excited about it. So hopefully, in fact, not hopefully, it is going to happen. I know that is going to happen. We're going to grow. We're going to be consistent. We're going to push passion. <laughs> and we're going to make sure that this year is one of the best YouTube years we have ever had. And if you're already part of the Fire Fam, come on, rush to the comment box now and tell me how much you missed me. <laughs> Well, I miss you guys too, so just, just grudge there and tell me how much you miss me. I miss you guys. So I really hope that we, we get to spend a lot of time together this year. In fact, I'm going to make sure of it. So let me not waste any more time. I have done enough apologizing and enough blabbing to last us a lifetime. Let us get into today's video. Today's video we're going to be talking about a couple of things as you can see in the title um, I just thought that we should do a young catch-up do a young chat do a young how you doing do a young ah I'm good you know um, 2021 is one of those years that we have never seen before you know 2020 was a very unprecedented year I know that line has become so popular but it was one of those years that nobody thought nobody imagined that it was gonna pan out that way you know we really everybody had plans I know I had plans a lot of people had plans on how the year was going to unfold but man it did not like not in our slightest imagination did we think that things would happen the way they did so um, I feel like 2021 should be a year that that is close to that in terms of we can't make this year business as usual this year needs to be a uh, a different year it needs to be a game changer for a lot of us because um, 2020 took away so much it did so much for us so this year needs to really pay <laughs> it needs to pay it needs to come through for us in terms of we need to make sure that this year um, bears fruit we need to make sure that we are productive this year we need to shoot to we need to ensure that more than ever we are living in purpose you know we are making sure that the things that we are here on earth to do we do you know, um, when I was talking to a couple of friends of mine and I was asking them, what are those things that they're looking forward to in this year? And a lot of people were like, ah, I don't really even think we need to plan because I mean, come on. Um, we saw how 2020 was. We saw the things that happened in that year. And if you ask me, I don't really want to plan. And I was of a different opinion to say that it's, it is the year where you actually should have more planning than you had in any other year. And a planning where purpose is prioritized over performance. 2020, we saw how our performance was diminished because of the restrictions and all of the things that we could and could not do. So a lot of people's performances in terms of financially, you know, physically and spiritually and otherwise was impacted but in this year we have the ability to ensure that we prioritize our purpose and prioritize who and what we are and the 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 reason why we are here over everything else because if you look at it you have the opportunity to say this is why I'm here. This is why my business was established. This is why this YouTube channel was formed. So this is one of those years where you are going to prioritize purpose over performance this is what comes first quality over quantity this year and it's more about purpose you know if you are selling a product or a service what is the problem what is the need that it's meant to to solve or meant to meet you know and you elevate that you make sure that in this year you push that and you 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 punt it you know it's in people's faces we can't miss we can't miss that you are here to do this particular thing because in that way you will achieve everything else because if you are achieving purpose you 
are achieving everything else. So 2021 is one of those years. These things need to be prioritized more. These things need to be elevated. We need to bring them to, to, to the conversation. We need to start talking about them. We need to start living them. We need to start having conversations about them. So if, if you are planning and you are putting down dreams and you are putting down goals and you've got no intention of actually putting corresponding action to those uh, plans and to those goals, then rather just leave it because I mean, come on, then it's not, it's not necessary. This is not going to happen anyway. So you have planned, you have put it down and yeah that's where it ended so in this year anything that we are doing we are ensuring that we are putting corresponding action to it so that we can get the results that we are looking for you know plans are great um, visions are beautiful but corresponding action and being intentional in ensuring that you those things come to pass is even more important start factoring in um, activities and things that are going to make sure that um, your goals and your dreams and your plans and your aspirations come to pass and are things that we are able to account for and by the time it's it's March we are already starting to see something by the time it's June we are already starting to see some progress it's August September you know October November December you are actually seeing that oh my god these things are happening in the way I thought and planned in the way in my mind I had envisioned it and in the way I actually thought that it was going to happen one of the things that I have been pondering upon and plan to start doing in the year 2021 is to have monthly meetings with myself um, monthly meetings most of us work in organizations where we do monthly reporting if you're working in a sales environment you guys have to report on sales if you're working in whatever kind of environment you have to report on the month you have to account for the 20 days that you've been coming to work um, what have you guys been doing and what are the achievements that you have made in that specific month and for some reason the Holy Spirit was just whispering to my ear that this is one of those years that you need to do something like that where you need to start accounting and taking stock of the kind of things that you are you are doing you know so that you can always put um, yourself in perspective and make sure that you are living in the purpose that you are meant to be living in you know you are you are you are prioritizing the reasons why you are doing what you are doing and every month you are checking you keep check you keep holding yourself accountable and if you're seeing that there are any activities that you are doing that are wasting your time then you start prioritizing accurately and you start making sure that these things that you you, you are investing your time in have have some sort or some kind of of return and investment for you my dad taught me this this principle of you being able to account for your time so he said every other time every other day when you catch yourself in an activity or when you find yourself doing something ask yourself one of three things is this giving me immediate gratification is it giving me short term to medium term gratification or is it part of my long term um, goals that are going to give me long term gratification i'm going to look back one day and say oh if it wasn't for that specific activity that i did in the on that day on the 6th of february or on the 8th of february or whatever date it was i wouldn't find myself here so it's it's very important that you find yourself doing those activities you know and those activities that are going to help you in in the long run you need to prioritize what is important in your life and having these meetings having these monthly meetings with yourself where you sit with your yourself and say okay to me this is what you did for this month these were your goals and these were your results for this month for the first month of January I used that month to plan you know I plan the year I, I put down the goals that I have um, I put down how I'm planning to achieve these goals and I'm, I'm, I'm just putting down those things and I actually have a couple of templates that I think you guys might be interested in using I'll drop them in the in the description box below goal setting templates that you can use to make sure that as you are setting these goals you're setting goals that are actionable things that you can do things that you can achieve every day should be profitable every day should be effective every day should be productive it's making sure that each and every single purpose that you have comes to fruition each and every goal that you put down each and every vision that you put down comes to fruition and I personally feel that this is one of those things that one needs to do to plan to put the implementation and the intention behind each and every activity to hold ourselves accountable for our activities for and for our actions for the investments that we are making in our lives in the relationships that we are having with the people who live with us who are around us people that we 
are acquainted with people who are in our circle it elevates the quality of the year that you have you know you move away from just having another year and taking things as they come this year demands for us to be more intentional about these things that we want to do it it requires it from us i, I want to encourage us that this year when we are going into 2021 we we put these things in in practice we pull we push <laughs> we drag <laughs> we make sure that um, we are leaving no stone unturned in our progress we are leaving no stone unturned in the purposes that god has for our lives so i've put down the things that i want to do this year i've already mapped it out i took a whole month to do that and it's not too late it's never too late to start planning for something it's never too late to start planning it's never too late to put your vision down and from that articulate how you're going to do it you can start today you can start tomorrow you can take a couple of days off you can take a weekend out you can do it at any point in time and that's the beauty about the opportunities that we are given in each and every day that you make of the day what you want it to be it's it's such conversations that i'm looking forward to having you will see that in many of the videos that we're going to be having going forward we're going to be talking about the action points you know what what are the things that we are meant to be doing at the end of that video what are the kind of things we need to be thinking about what are the actions that we can take immediately from that video at the end of the day even these videos need to have a means to an end they need to have a purpose they need to have a goal and we need to ensure that we are meeting that goal and we are doing exactly what we were meant to do thank you so much for joining me for today's video do ensure that you give this video a thumbs up as well as drop a comment in the section below of the things that you would like to see in the next coming videos i really enjoyed this video today it actually felt so good being back um i can't wait for the rest of the year i can't wait for the next couple of months and the next couple of days where we're just going to be chilling here doing the right thing you know talking having meaningful conversations do ensure that you follow me on social media if you haven't done so at to me wmj on all social media platforms till next time keep doing the most